Aloha, welcome to this episode of Fish and Grills. We're gonna be back at Kamakanali at Noel Designer. We got sponsored this fish straight off the auction block. We're gonna prep it all up, make some delicious fish dishes to you. Hope to see you guys all there. Stay tuned. for this episode of Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Fish Girls. We're back here at Noel Designers with Strong Arm Hawaiians. We're back at it, they're giving away free fish bowls, live music, having a good time. Hope you all join us today, stay tuned.
Harvey Harvey gets an E. So you get something for free. Oh, oh for the rhyme, yeah. We have the largest receipt. Who can give me our largest receipt? You know everybody shop at Long's, yeah, so don't even ask. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. I'm here interviewing Lele, and I'm so happy to be doing this because um, we, go, we go a little bit back, a few, yeah. few years, so I'm very happy to do this. So, the questions we have for you is, tell me about yourself. Where are you from? What's your ohana? And all that wonderful, wonderful magicalness that adds to your life. So, I'm from Anapuri. Um, raised homestead. I um, still live in Anakuri. Um My family, my mom's family is from Maui. Um, and then we relocated a lot of family. I come from a huge, huge family on both sides. So, um, and then I'm also um, Tokelauan, Samoan, so a lot of, a lot of Polynesian. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was your other question? Um, I think that sums a lot of it. Yeah. So how did you how did you get started? I guess what I guess what that question would mainly be, how did you get started with your business? Or talk about your business and how did you get started? So I was working at Kingabia schools. Um, I just wanted I have a business degree, but I wanted to start my own business. So I was working at Kingabia schools. So I just wanted to start out. And um, it was a big leap. I had a lot of support from my family. But um, I have a soap company, and we actually came here to see if they had like any openings here. And um, they actually offered us that corner shop, which we totally love and miss. Awesome. But we have we outgrew so fast, and so we're so grateful and blessed to have this bigger location, so we can showcase much more um, local businesses. Um, so that was like four years ago. It went by really fast, like furi furiously fast. Um, but yeah, throughout the whole time, uh, it's a couple thing. Like it's not just me; it's our staff, it's the other, the other businesses, and so yeah, we've been we've been blessed. Oh, awesome, Mahalo. So I guess I guess you could answer this in a two part question, right? So tell me about I guess tell me about your products that you have, and then tell me about the products here in the store. Maybe a little bit more about all that. So my I have a soap company, an actual soap company. If you have a made in Hawaii company and you manufacture things, it's it's a lot of work. So much work. But um, working with your hands is very different from being in the back of your computer, working in front of a screen. And so um, I appreciate even more when I work with other businesses that are made in Hawaii. Um, and I think that kind of extends to the reason why No Yao exists, is to support the small local businesses. Um, I've always believed in economic development, um, and I think that's why I wanted to start my own business. Um, and so that's why um, it's important that we support local, because small businesses is the backbone of our economy, and we are able to employ you know, our own peeps from our own place. So that gives me a lot more joy than working at Chicas. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I totally understand. So I guess my last question, and you covered a, a great amount of it. The last question would be, what would be kind of like a, what kind of manao would you share with someone who is um, an artist, whether an upcoming artist or just an artist um, in the sense of creating? Like, what kind of, what would you share? What kind of advice? To be authentic and to be true to yourself, and to uh, remember that people are looking to hear your story and your your manao. Um, to uh, kind of understand that we um, to ki we kind of try not to be colonized when you work on your on your your task or your art, and um, just put mana in what you do. And I think um, people feel it when you do it too. So yeah. 
mahalo Nui for sharing your manao, your ike, and your experiences to everybody out here. And I think it's really important for all of us to know that, that we have local people supporting local people and lifting us up in our community. Mahalo for everything that you do, and you are an inspiration to everybody, um, as well as your community, so mahalo. And you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, live at Noe Hale Designers with an interview with Lemon. How about a round of applause? designers and strong arms for having us we had a blast good times good grinds good people and always stay tuned for the next episode of Fishing Fishing Fishing. 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 all right that was a good one